asphalt roof shingles come in many different colors, textures, and patterns. They're one of the least expensive roofing materials. They're also very durable. Some even carry a lifetime warranty. But they can only go on a roof with a steep enough slope. At the heart of every asphalt shingle is a membrane. It can be made from fiberglass or, like this one, from organic fibers, namely wood chips, recycled cardboard, and paper. The giant rolls of membrane feed what's known as a felt looper. It builds up enough reserve so that workers can change rolls as needed without stopping production. From there, the membrane enters a machine called the saturator, where it's drenched in hot liquid asphalt, a petroleum derivative. When this saturant dries, the membrane will be impermeable. Next comes a thicker asphalt coating mixed with powdered limestone. They apply it to both the top and bottom. This coating will make the membrane flexible. It'll also form a protective barrier against harsh weather. With that coating still wet, they spread colored ceramic granules over the top surface. This gives the shingles their color and makes them resistant to the sun's ultraviolet rays. Granules that don't stick to the wet asphalt get recycled back into the system. Next, they apply a cellophane strip to the back surface so the shingles won't stick together in the package. Then they shower the back surface with powdered stone, also to prevent sticking. Even by this point, the asphalt coating is still piping hot, too hot for the shingle material to be cut to size. So it's off to the cooling section where cold rollers and water jets bring down the temperature. The next machine applies strips of adhesive asphalt. The sun's heat will activate them, keeping the shingles stuck to each other. The process to this point is the same regardless of color. What can differ from this point on is how the shingle's bottom edge is cut. That determines the shingle's profile. On the way to the cutting station, the shingle material passes through the finish looper. Like the felt looper we saw at the beginning, the finish looper accumulates enough reserve so that production won't come to a standstill if there's a problem. The cutting machine cuts to size and profile. Standard shingles measure 100 by 33.7 centimeters. This model has a straight edge, but some styles have a curved bottom. An automatic counter keeps track of production. The machine automatically stacks the shingles for packaging, usually 21 sheets to a bundle, enough to cover roughly three square meters of roof. Asphalt shingles come in about 50 different colors and in about a dozen different shapes and profiles. They wrap each bundle of shingles in paper that's been treated with polyethylene to prevent water penetration. The bundles then go onto pallets, which the factory then wraps in a plastic bag that's water and UV resistant. The warranties on asphalt shingles range from 20 years to lifetime. Generally, the thicker the asphalt and granule protective barrier, the more durable they are and the longer the guarantee.